this is Sharon Buchanan. The knowledge tip from CS3 today is adding a purchase order receipt to AP bills in Acumatica. This function will make the process of paying bills simple, especially in a batch process. Within a typical process, the purchasing group has issued a purchase order to the vendor, the vendor ships the products, the receiving department receives the merchandise and issues a goods receipt. Several days later, the Accounts Payable Department receives an invoice from the vendor. From the main menu, choose Finance, Accounts Payable. In the Navigation area, Work area, under Enter, we're going to choose Bills and Adjustments. The main working area populates of which the Accounts Payable personnel will enter a new bill. Most often, the Type field Auto populates with bill. In the event it does not, click the drop down arrow and choose bill. Acumatica denotes required fields with the red asterisk. So ensure all required fields are populated or filled in. If not, an error message will prompt upon attempting to save or release the bill. In the vendor field, either begin typing the vendor name or Choose the lookup icon to choose your vendor. From the vendor's invoice, enter the vendor bill date and the vendor reference number, which is most often the vendor's invoice number. A description is not required. However, if a description is on the purchase order, it will auto-populate the field. On the ribbon of the Document Details tab, click Add PO Receipt. This opens the Add PO Receipt dialog box. For this vendor, the dialog box shows the list of released purchase receipts with unbilled lines. Several purchase receipts can be added to a bill, but today we will choose the most recent bill dated October 12, 2017. Select the purchase receipt in the table click Add and Close. This feature copies the lines of the purchase receipt into the AP bill. Verify the quantity, the unit cost, and the extended cost against the vendor's invoice. Save the bill. Notice the bill was saved with the balance status. Now there may be a slight difference between the accrued cost and the actual cost in the bill. You can configure the processing of purchase price variances if needed, but we will process this bill as is. Verify the vendor's invoice balance against the bills and adjustments balance and release the bill. Simple as that.